Hello. Alright, I thought I would uh, give a demonstration of something I've been working on for quite a while. This is a procedurally made building. Uh, this uses uh, geometry nodes in Blender, which is new, came out about a month ago, December something, 2021. Um, and this is not sculpted. This is not prefabbed. Each and every single square in this thing, in this building, is a um, procedurally made using geometry nodes. Little white things are part of uh, Unreal Engine. And I can adjust the height of the building. I'm using a, an importer to uh, Unreal Engine 4.27. The importer plugin is called Alter Mesh. That is A L T E R M E S H. Uh, I'm also using it within a blueprint because Alter Mesh is also very, very new and they don't have the uh, collision colliders or, uh, excuse me, the collision mesh automatically imported. Uh, they said they'll have that done by end of January, so about two weeks from now. So I have to procedurally build out uh, collision boxes. Uh, collision boxes for the stairs, some of the walls, but not all of them. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. All right. This is what it looks like inside the, the blueprint. Uh, Alter Mesh. I mean, there's there's just nothing. It's all imported. All this is the Geonodes uh, inputs that I have exposed. Um, I can change anything in here. Uh, but this part right here is exposed from the blueprint. That's these variables. So these variables will actually overwrite the variables that I have in the parameters. Um, but it actually sets. I, when I say it overwrites it, it actually like uh, where'd it go? So ah, it's over here. Um, it actually overwrites the parameters that uh, you type in manually. Uh, so that's part of the construction script. Uh, the reason I do it that way is so that I can procedurally generate the collision, uh, collision boxes. And yet yeah, each one of these is a collision box. Uh, Alright, so that's uh, the only thing in here is collision boxes and setting a couple of parameters. Um, everything else is inside of uh, Blender. Alter Mesh actually runs Blender in the background to generate this mesh. Um, doesn't generate the collider though. And let's see, let's get another one. Let's put it over here. Uh, like I have all the parameters exposed. Uh, let's say floors will get overridden uh, further on down. Let's say number of side doors. Let's change that to five. So now it has five side doors. And let's change the width to 50. No, no, excuse me, 20. Let's change the depth to 50. Uh, each of the side doors produces a set of uh, stairs, stairwells. It's for very large buildings. Let's change that down to something more reasonable. Um, let's change that to 2. So you can see presents, pre presents a set of stairwells, st outside doors, uh, let's change front and back doors to say three. Everything's automatically done. It's essentially instant. 
these can be spawned with blueprints, so you can spawn the entire mesh with blueprints or multiple. Um, so I can build out an entire city that is fully explorable. Every single building in it is explorable. And pardon the, the glitchiness of uh, the glass, that's, that's something with Unreal Engine. Because uh, everything in here is, you know, flush up against everything else, so that might cause the, the flickering. I don't know. Uh, but my collision meshes are based on only having one, because I, I was really quick and dirty. So I'll have only one side door, so I can demonstrate. And let's see, this one right here. All right, five floors. This one right here, let's put it at 10 floors. See, so you can see what I'm getting at. <laughs> let's, let's just jump it on up there to 100 floors. Instantly built 100-story skyscraper. That's, that's what I'm talking about right there. Um, but you can see I, I don't have a whole lot of colliders. I don't have the exterior walls except for uh, this one. Uh, I have just the middle floor here and the stairwells. Uh, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time because they're going to update um, Alter Mesh plugin and I'll be able to use their colliders that are a lot easier to use. But They pop in. That's actually a, a um, collision uh, box. See, no collision there. Because I don't have it programmed in. No collision here. Not programmed in. But I do have the floor right here. And right above me. It's invisible, but the collider is there. And I got stairs. Stairs. And it's very easy to fall off because I don't have the actual thing in between the stairs. I just have the stairs. I don't have the left one. And I have already written oops, uh, the program to generate the interior walls so that it has uh, floor plans. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's a 100-story building. But the, the floor plans are randomly generated, but they're also natural looking. Um, I mean, I, it, <laughs> I take the city that they use in the new Matrix uh, movie. Or um, not the movie, but the little game demo thing. It was procedurally made. Pretty large city. But for a game, none of those buildings are explorable. They're just, th their entire city is made out of just boxes with windows painted on. But those are wi real windows you can see out of. I mean, you can see the glass in each one of these windows. And from the outside, you'll be able to see in and see all the different... Uh, You'll be able to go in the doors, open the doors, explore each and every single building. It might not seem exciting to you, but to someone making a game, and uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I just got <laughs> I just got butterflies from from seeing how high up this is. Um, but when you're making a game, the amount of time and resources one has to dedicate to making uh, buildings, cars, a all kinds of different assets is prohibitive for a lone developer. But my goal is to create essentially a tool that can build out an entire planet with one or two clicks Everything's procedurally and randomly generated. Generates the cities, the buildings. Each building is enterable. Um, it would basically look like real life. But uh, the floor plan, I haven't added into this uh, yet. I'm just... Uh, because the floor plans 
are too complicated to generate the um, the colliders. You just build a. I mean, you could see them, but you just walk through the wall, so it really wouldn't matter. Uh, so I did not add that in there. I just did this for testing purposes. Uh, ah! Yeah, that's hundred story building. Um, welcome to the future. <laughs>